Hi folks, it's Hidazip here and I got the new, not the new, but uh, I got a new espresso machine. It's the Rocket R58 V2. This is a dual boiler machine with a PID here. You control the PID via this controller. You can program it by pressing the P button. No. Oh, there you go. For the language, and you can you can plumb this machine. I have I run it on a water reservoir here, but you can also plumb it out of the box. So reservoir, and you can turn on or turn off the steaming boiler. Temperature unit. I'm here in Japan, so I use this. And you can change the temperature of the brew boiler. And it's the temperature of the brew boiler, so you have to keep in mind that it's not the temperature what's coming out from here. You can look it up on the uh, manual, the offset of the temperature here. And the temperature of the steaming boiler. Let, let's get it a little down. It's way too hot. And this is the current temperature on the brew boiler. It's on 105 degrees Celsius and it's ready to brew. So let's brew some shots. This, machine's, this machine comes with two portal filters. One for double and one for single. And I'm using the VST basket. The original double basket is this one from Rocket. And you can get this uh, blind filter for the uh, back, back flush. So today I'm using this double basket, double filter. Starbucks, uh, what is it? Guatemala beans and the tamper from Maruyama Coffee in Tokyo. It's a curved tamper. And let's brew some shots or make a cafe latte. Don't expect any latte art. It's not my first time, but it, I'm not really used to this steam right now. Note that you can't tamp it on the edge here because it's this the spout is pointing that way. I guess you can turn it around, but I don't know. So you might need a tamper stand, or you can just tamp it like me. You don't need a cooling flash, but uh, I, I like to do this. This is a, a vib not, not vibration, it's a rotary pump machine. And if you pull the lever like this, it does pre-infusion. If you plumb the machine, it does pre-infusion very well, but from the reservoir you just get the uh, boiler pressure. And you can turn it up fully and the rotary pump starts. Uh, the shots are a little too fast, but it's okay. It's an E61 brew head, so this is everything is warm to keep everything nice and warm. 
So here's our shot. Now looking decent. So now let's steam. The steam is pretty strong. And dry. By the way, this one is for hot water. So now let's steam some milk. hot pretty fast. And this is an anti-burn steam one so you can touch it but don't hold it. It doesn't mean it's get not getting hot. So you don't have to worry about cleaning it up immediately. It won't burn. So our shot is ready, and let's pour the milk. A little, that was a little too much steam. The taste matters, not the steam, not the latter art. Let's try the espresso first. Mm. And the latte. Yeah, very sweet and smooth. You can get a really strong body, strong flavor on the uh, espresso. And the milk gets really nice with the steam one. You have pretty much very much control on this machine over the espresso side. If you want more steam capability, you might get, you might want to consider the uh, Rocket Evoluzione, Giotto or Mozzafiato because it gets it's it got a largest. Ow, that was hot. It got a larger uh, steam boiler. And it has much steam power. And the knob here, the steam knob on the R58, it's the steam doesn't come out immediately. It's you have to turn it around a lot, much more than the Evolution. And the feeling is not that smooth here. On the Evolution, you can have a really, really smooth turn, and the slightest turn will get a really, really strong steam. But the steaming power is, is not that different. A little stronger on the uh, Mozza Fiato Giotto, but you can change the temperature on the PID. And I guess the steam power, if you get the temperature right on here, doesn't matter that much. So that was the review of the Rocket R58. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like for more content. Thank you and see you next time.